It is Saturday here in Lodi. We made it to the weekend. I do. I don't feel good. <laughs> we went out last night. I was not prepared for the amount of alcohol in the tastings and I drank just a wee too much. So I'm a little hurting today. We're going to figure it out though. We are Sam and Chris. We've been traveling across North America since 2019 in RV with our cat, Micah. We both have full-time remote corporate jobs during the day, but at night and on the weekends, we get to play. We'll drink just about anything, anywhere. We've explored over 20 countries and 40 states and drank over 10,000 drinks. We believe that there is no better way to connect with the place than through its local booze, and we want to share that experience with you. Join us as we are boozing abroad. Lodi is a hidden gem in the world of wine in California, located on the north end of California's Central Valley. Home to over 85 wineries, it's one of California's fastest growing wine regions. While they grow a variety of grape varietals, they are known for their Zinfandel. Our first stop of the day was at Fields Family Winery, who specializes in the Rhone style varietals. They take a minimalist approach, which allows the grapes to speak for themselves in their wine. We loved it so much, we bought a bottle. Clinkerbrick Winery has some rich history dating back to 1855 when it was originally established. We're here at Clinkerbrick Winery in Lodi. We've got two different flights here. The one in front is the main retail flight. It's a mix of white, rosé, and red. In the back here we've got the limited production flight. Um, all red and a little bit smaller batch production as its name implies. Art Handcrafted Wines is a small boutique winery owned by a husband and wife team. They planted their first vines in 1999 and quickly became noticed for their Syrah and Zinfandels. We split a tasting which rotates through their collection of wines and opted to try one of their all red wine flights. After Dart, I really needed some food, so we headed downtown to grab a quick burger. I took no other photos as I was feeling great. So I'm a little hurting today. We're going to figure it out though. We are going our first stop today. We're going to try to get in. It's usually reservation only. We're going to try. It's called Acquiesce. They are known, actually we heard about it outside of Lodi from other people we've met along our journey who said that they're known for their food pairing with their wines. So we're going to head there first, get a good base layer going, and unlike yesterday, we also have snacks. So hopefully my headache will go away and we can drink some wine. Acquiesce specializes in the white wines of the Rhone Valley. If you're unfamiliar with these varietals, they tend to be very crisp and refreshing. Each wine is specifically paired with food to take you on a sensory journey through the tasting. This place was great. It was. It was definitely unique. All whites, which if you've been following us, you know we don't typically drink all whites, but the pairing itself was great. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, everything was really good. Everything very unique, a lot of different varieties um, and great to have a little bit of food with your wine. Always, always a good idea to have food with wine. <laughs> Peltier Winery is a modern and innovative winery here in Lodi that offers a self-pour wine station providing you the opportunity to drink as many or as little wines as you wish. With over 24 wines on tap, you can try a variety of sizes from a taste to a half glass or a full glass pour. Last stop of the day was at M2 Wines. We were able to get another glass and wine down for the day. That's a wrap on Lodi. Be sure to head over to the blog for more information. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.